I find it so, I find it so funny that um, I have a tripod and so much other photography stuff that I could be setting this camera up on, but I'm here fandangling it on an Ikea stool. And um, I just thought, let's film in the closet. Welcome to Sammy's coming out of the closet, closet confessional. Does that sound good? Sammy's closet confessional. Get the tripod out. Hi, my name's Sammy. Welcome to my closet. I thought I would welcome you to my coming out of the closet and getting on YouTube. No, none of this is right. There is something extremely terrifying about sitting in front of a camera and talking. I don't know what it is, but I commend all you YouTubers that do it so naturally. Hopefully within time I can be better at it. This is my day one. Well, I've had a few day ones over the last 10 years, but this is my day one. I'm judging you on your day thousand <laughs> I don't know for real this is just good practice if anything comes out of this video then at least hopefully it was good practice I don't know what background to use I don't have a cool desk so I just thought I'm gonna do it in the closet I'm gonna be real with you and uh, I don't know where else to film I'm not I'm not a YouTuber, but uh, this is my first YouTube, I guess. Um, okay, where do I begin? I'm currently uh, trying to figure my life out and don't really have a job. It was, I, I quit, I knew things were going. I, it was such a great experience, but also one I never wanna ever experience again. You're at the bottom of the barrel, you know. I was at a chain salon. Um, I knew it was going down. I knew I couldn't do this forever. And by that, at the end of September, I was in so much pain. I think I probably had some kind of pinched nerve, but my back was done for. My neck, <laughs> you know, my whole body just hurt. I, I'm 34, but I felt like I was 94. And I've been driving Uber, but I'm not the greatest at it because I'm not treating it like a job. Oops. If I was my mother, I would be like, biatch, get your shit together. Work hard, do this shit. And here I am just like, I'm sitting in a closet confessing to you that I'm a loser. And, um, I can't believe I just said that. Yesterday, is it yesterday? I don't know what days are, I barely work. I slacked off in the morning for what I don't know. Um, so that was yesterday, it was like a shitty day. I'm procrastinating driving Uber, I don't wanna get a normal job. So I don't know. After these last two weeks though, reading books on self-help and motivation. I'm super, super motivated to create and um, follow what I love, my passion. And it's like, it's not being an Uber taxi driver. That's not my passion. Um, my brain and my inspiration to create is like, and these ideas are just coming at me and I was so inspired. And yet here I am like trying to like shove it away in a closet <laughs> so that I can drive Uber and make money. So I'm starting to feel more creative and alive and inspired, like not even, I'm not motivated, but I'm inspired, whatever that means. Um, I'm really, really inspired though. And I'm like, Shh, I wanna, I wanna do photography. I wanna do film editing. I wanna do Photoshop and fine art. And um, I wanna write a book. Uh, There's just so much creative 
ideas and intuitive I don't know it's telling me to go that route but it's not gonna pay me right away I gotta put in the work so I'm sitting here avoiding everything in my life right now I haven't had a I don't know I don't know um, I was gonna say I haven't had a real job I don't know if that's true or not but I haven't had like a real job since the end of September it's now the end of October November and um, I don't want to get a real job but also I'm not making much money so I'm not doing very good so I thought well then just you better if you're not gonna fucking work at least be creative at least get your message out there at least study something I don't know so that's where I've been at um, this whole month follow your heart and make sure you're happy and love yourself and that's all I'm trying to do but if it, it feels so terrible and it also feels like I'm just gonna be homeless in a ditch soon but here I am that's my closet confession for today I guess I've been reading books that's not weird and like shit in my head like I need a therapist I just made that up let's try that again though let's see why aren't you focusing over on me I think I need to now turn that bitch away from me I don't want to see her while I'm talking to you it's fucking cold in this closet damn it I'm like shivering um but I want to tell you this story so okay yeah that's right does that make sense thanks for uh watching if you got this far i have no clue what i'm doing <laughs>